All right, Makeup Geeks, I have um, a tutorial series that I'm doing for you guys. Instead of it being just makeup, I want to show you what I do with my hair and my outfit. Now, this hair is pretty easy because the makeup is a little bit more complex, but every, um, I'll call it a style video that I do, it'll feature on one thing than the other. So maybe I'll do more complex hair, but then I'll do like a simple look or a simple makeup look, or I'll have like a really fancy outfit. We'll keep everything else clean and simple. So I just want to give you guys full ideas from head to toe of what you can do for your style. So this one today is all about red velvet. So I have a beautiful red velvet jacket on and to kind of tie it in, especially for the holidays, I wanted to do some texture on the eyes. So I call this red velvet eyes because I layered pigments and shimmers to kind of give that multi like shiny textured look in a jacket, if that makes sense. So this is the look. Let's get started on it. All right, to start off our red velvet eyes, I wanna show you guys what the palette looks like that I have here. I have a variety of reds, plums, and then I have a creme brulee, which is a nice warm tan to put in the crease to buff it out. So to get that kind of velvet texture, as you can see on my jacket here, do you see how it has shine and dimension to it? The way to accomplish that is to get two different colors. That's why I like mixing the red with the burgundy. So it provides a little bit of that dimension and then we're gonna pop the shine on there to give it that kind of velvety look. So that's what we're calling it velvet eyes. So what you're going to do is take, where'd my brush go? The It Cosmetics Chic Eyeshadow Brush, like this one. <laughs> we're gonna go in with this red color and any sort of red color will work. But what I'm going to do is start this out on the eyes. And I know this is gonna look really scary and crazy, you guys. No, it is not Halloween anymore. We are doing a more holiday look. So don't judge me till the whole look is done. <laughs> so do you see how I'm putting that base of red all over the lid and slightly into the crease? Now what I'm gonna do is switch to a little bit smaller dome shape brush like this one. I'm gonna go with Cherry Cola, and it's a deeper red color. It's like a burgundy red. We're going to put this on the outer and inner corner of the eye just to add some dimension. So put that out here. I told you guys, don't judge me till the blending is going on. I know that red eye, that first step, you're like, whoa, I am not wearing that. <laughs> so put this on the inner and outer corners. Now I'm gonna go in with a smaller dome brush. So are you guys noticing how I'm going from larger fluffy to kind of smaller and now to really small? That's how you're gonna get the least amount of color, a little bit darker, and then even more intense. The smaller the brush, the more concentrated the color is gonna be. So now I'm gonna go with just a little bit of black. This step is optional. So I'm going to put it on the outer corner here just for even more dimension. So do you see how it's like red, burgundy, and then dark, dark burgundy? That's the goal we're trying to go to. It's like kind of a gradient effect. And then if you need to patch up between the red and the burgundy, you can go back in with that middle brush and the cherry cola, and then you just go over it to blend out the lines. Take that same brush, now we're gonna go with Cherry Cola and smudge it under the lower lash line. Just a little bit. You don't want it too, too dark. Kind of smudge it out under there. I know this looks so crazy right now, you guys, because I haven't blended anything. So I, like I said, don't judge me till the end of the video. I know you're thinking I look like a clown right now. <laughs> Thank you. 
wipe off that brush. Now go in with creme brulee. It's that nice tan color. And we're going to go slightly under that to kind of smoke it out. And then go back in with that first brush, the larger dome one, and the creme brulee. Now we're going to buff out the crease before I show you the final step. And then if you guys need a little bit of blending under the brow, you can take peach smoothie or if you have lighter skin than me, vanilla bean. And just soften everything up up here. Okay, now the final step is the pop of shimmer, and I'll show you a couple options for you guys. You need to take a flat brush like this, the foiled eyeshadow brush, and you can go in with the burgundy color curtain call, or you can go in with grandstand. Let me pull that out really quick. Okay, found it. So there's grandstand, which is a little bit more of a light golden color. It depends on how much shine and effect that you want. Let's start with curtain call. And we're gonna pat it over that red. Now the reason, again, I put the red base down is to create dimension between the colors. So you just have that nice base in there. And just pat it all over the lid. Now that's an option if you guys want it to be truly red velvet. If you want it to have a little bit of a more golden sheen, you can take grandstand on that same brush and you can put it just on the center instead. Let me show you what it looks like. Do you see how all that layering kind of gives it a multi-dimensional effect so it looks like the velvet where it's like shiny? <laughs> All right, now that the blending for the eyeshadows is done, for this look, I don't want to put lashes on. I have extensions on, so that does help a little bit. So if you want to do just minimal lashes, you want it to overtake the whole lid so you can still see that red velvet appearance on the lid. I'm going to take a nude eyeliner. This is the Makeup Geek 1 in nude. How original. <laughs> I'm going to come out with some later that have more original names. I don't know what I was thinking at that time. But you're going to pull this down and run this in the waterline to open the eyes a little bit more. You kind of see the difference between this eye and this eye. And then the final step is easy. You guys know how to apply a mascara, but in case you don't know how to do it the Marlena way, let me show you. So you put it at the base of the lashes, you swiggle and sweep, swiggle and sweep. So when you guys put your mascara on, you can think of me and be like, swiggle and sweep. <laughs> All right, now for the cheeks, you guys, I'm going to take an angled stippling brush like this one. Are you ready? You ready for this cheek business? <laughs> I'm going to use the Makeup Geek Fair Maiden palette. It's one of the Flawless Saver After Face palettes. I love it because it has all of your stuff in one. And this one is specifically designed for my skin color, the Fair Skin. So I'm going to go in with the bronzer slash contour. Yes, I know I say it different than some people do. I say it contour with an emphasis on the where I know. <laughs> so I'm going to apply a little bit of this under the cheekbone and then I'm going to warm up the forehead just a little. Put some up here. Now I'm going to take that same brush and there's two blushes that you guys can pick. For me, I like doing a warm one because I have uh, neutral undertones. I like to be a little bit warmer, so I'm going to go in with a peach color. If you prefer cool tone blushes on your skin, you may use this one. Did I just start talking with a British accent? I think I did. I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Put that on the cheekbones. And then I'm gonna to switch to the cheek highlighter brush. Hold on a minute, I have one. There we go. Okay, I'm going with the highlighter. And put this on top of the cheeks, just like that. For a nice, beautiful glow. 
And then for the lips, you guys, I'm going to keep it really, really easy and just apply a lipstick because the eyes, I know, were intense and they took a lot of time. Where did my lipstick go? There we go. I'm going to use the color Shy. It's one of my favorite lipsticks. It's just a really beautiful wearable color. It's almost like your lip color, but better. And it's the cream formula, so it's really hydrating. And it just ties the whole look in together. So hold on. I should have a fan going on right here. There is the velvet eyes look. <laughs> to go with my velvet jacket. So it's just something very holiday inspired, something with a little texture on the eyes. So hopefully you guys had fun with that tutorial. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the link below to see all of the products that I used so you guys can experiment and have fun with this look. And I hope you guys are doing great. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.